Tonight on Midnight Stinks, Cemetery from Seance Perfumes. Not a scent of piercing grief and burial shrouds, but instead a balm and a comfort. A feeling of wrapping yourself in the subtle fragrance of a scarf that belonged to a departed loved one, breathing in their essence, and for a while they are there with you. Soft grasses, sweet dusty vanilla, and a bit of dragon's blood to warm the chill of loss. Tonight on Midnight Stinks. There's polite musk, there's funky musk, and there's Kiel's musk, a perfect balance of the warm and the clean and the bittersweet and the skanky. The original formulation may have been heavier on the skankiness, and that's what I recall from the sample I tried ages ago. This bottle of Kiel's musk is still exactly what I imagine 1974 to smell like, astrology enthusiasts and their extravagantly embroidered captains attending eternal Tupperware parties. Tonight on Midnight Stinks, Death and Decay from Lush. A mass of white lilies, an elaborate wreath, a store-bought bouquet, a funeral arrangement, or perhaps all three incarnations of this melancholic, meditative floral. These blooms are at the height of their beauty, their alabaster form and curves full and flourishing, just on the cusp of decay. This is a narcotic, white floral fragrance, heavy with every aspect it evokes, from the sweet waxy petals to the subtle spice of pollen to the pearlescent plastic wrapped around the stems. Tonight on Midnight Stinks, Sortilege by Le Galion. I initially saw this fragrance reference in a strange story, in a weird collection of stories by Amparo de Villa. And as I hadn't heard of the scent, I was dying to know whether it exists. And it does. Sortilege means spell and it does very much conjure enchantments across time and space. This is a scent originally created in 1937, so what I have is, of course, a reformulation. I purchased directly from the Le Galion site, which reads, The iconic fragrance of the House Le Galion and signature perfume of the famous Stork Jazz Club in New York. It's ethereal aldehydes delicate velvety florals, and a subtle woody basalmic sheep base. It's a gentle but profoundly evocative scent that awakens phantom dreams and memories of past life loves and loss. Tonight on Midnight Stinks, Cherki from Serge Lutens, a scent both luxurious and intoxicating without being decadent or heavy. It smells foreign and familiar all at once, the sumptuous romance of illustrations in a well-worn book of fables from a faraway land. It's all lofty sandalwood, honeyed musk, and liquid amber tea, and it makes me feel like a desert queen in a strange, dusty tale. Tonight on Midnight Stinks, Confessions of a Garden Gnome. I don't believe this earnest little gnome's secret to be particularly incendiary, but it does present some specific imagery. Shirking garden tasks to sneak into a woodland affair he's heard rumors about, expecting an opulent ball he washes behind his loamy, soil-caked ears and spritzes a soft herbal cologne with notes of violet leaf and strange citrus. What he finds upon arrival is a fairy ring rave, intoxicated pixies and sprites flirting and frolicking across peppery moss, under disco balls reflecting the birch and cedar trees and the guilty face of a gnome who doesn't know how to dance. Tonight on Midnight Stinks, Rose 31 from Le Labo. If you've seen my review of Perfumer's Workshop Tea Rose and sussed out that I am not, in fact, Rose's number one fan, you would be correct. Rose 31 is more earthy rose adjacent than rose forward. It's got a peculiar sweaty cumin armpit opening, but after that disappears, it's a rose blurred from the edges completely inward by woodsy aromatic mosses and sweetly musky resins. My boyfriend tells me it smells like his childhood Moss Man Masters of the Universe toy, and I smile thinking about those fuzzy green muscles every time I spray this subtle, elegant scent. Tonight on Midnight Stinks, Oodwood from Tom Ford is a ghostly, glacial, coniferous rosewood sandalwood melange of chilly, bitter, peppery woods. It's a tiny, sinister statue of a scent in an empty room where the temperature drops suddenly with no explanation. The perfumed version of a little gremlin that appears in a haunting tale, 
one that moves in the corners of your vision when the eye is focused elsewhere, and inches eerily closer to your pillow when you're at the knife's edge of wakefulness and dream. Tonight on Midnight Stinks, Vani Noir du Mexique from La Maison de la Vani, a vanilla of dark moody florals and balsamic resins that for a few seconds smells like the platonic ideal of a hot chocolate served in your favorite childhood mug, but there's something a bit off kilter about it too. You're enjoying your steaming portion of nostalgia in a claustrophobic room with creeping yellow wallpaper and a friend who has a mysterious green ribbon tied around her throat. She evades your questions about her enigmatic neckwear and asks, how are you enjoying your bouquet? You glance down and your hot cocoa is now a pale orchid, an arianthus grandolina, its blossoms exuding notes of jasmine, caramel, and butterscotch.